good morning it's Mayana here I haven't done any videos for a little while and I'll explain uh, later in another video what's been going on for you but for now today I'd like to talk to you about the law of attraction and explore the second step of the Mahayana method which is covered in part one of the Mahayana method in some of the other video, other videos I've recorded before, sorry. So I want to go into step two because step two is all about quantum anatomy. And what I call quantum anatomy is really very simple. It's the interaction of uh, spirit, mind, emotions and uh, physical manifestation and the law of attraction works for a lot of people and that's really really wonderful and for a lot of people it doesn't work so i'd like to give you a few gifts and a few pieces right here and let you know how why it doesn't work if it doesn't work for you so anything that is put into creation or put into motion usually goes through a thought process so if you want to create something, whether it's conscious or unconscious, there's usually a thought process. Now, thoughts on their own really don't go anywhere. The fuel, if you will, behind thoughts and behind engineering a full manifestation are your emotions and the feelings that are behind that. That's really the power. I call that the glue as well between the mental and the physical realms. So if you have a thought about uh, creating something or if you have a thought I'll give you the polar opposite about uh, say illness or cancer on its own it's absolutely not going to do anything what's going to power that is the feeling of um, excitement and creation and wanting to do something that is designed to help uh, you doing whatever you're doing if say for instance you're creating a table and if you are thinking about the hereditary lineage for instance in your family perhaps someone has cancer and every time you see something about cancer you're afraid or you go into well yeah you go into fear if you see ads on tv or anything like that then that's giving it enough fuel to power it into manifestation so out of the whole secret and everything that was portrayed there is really one big thing probably that was not uh, mentioned at all and that would be going into peace of mind peace of mind in my view being the root of all successes so peace of mind is really very easy it comes from knowing when you hear programming or when you hear bad news or when you feel fear within you about something that's not directly in front of you uh, you're going through experiencing all programming replaying again or some people call it patterns I call it implants or whatever you want to call it so that's really usually what is in the way of you creating what it is you've been wanting because consciously you may have every little bit of willpower absolutely everything that really ought to allow you to put things into manifestation and somehow it doesn't work so what we do in fact what a lot of people do is create by default so you're not creating consciously mainly you're creating unconsciously or subconsciously so while you have fantastic wishes and you mean well you're a good person you deserve absolutely everything you're already perfect there's nothing you need to add for you to be better you're already absolutely god made and wonderful the only thing that's in the way is really the programming that's in the mind the little voice that says ah but that couldn't happen for me or i'm not good enough or i don't deserve it and sometimes it's not even there's no consciousness around that so it's just like a tape playing at the back of your head with absolutely no knowledge in your conscious mind that that's going on that's why you wish for something and you fall short in your effort so the second step of the Mahayana method uh, is really to do with understanding your quantum anatomy and knowing how to correct it there's another really big uh, gift I'd like to give you right here is which is that um, anything you observe that you don't like is really the end result of what you've been feeling and what you've been thinking before that okay so it's like that it's thinking feeling and manifestation so when you observe a manifestation that you don't like okay you have the manifestation you have 
going back one step, the feeling, the emotion, and going back one step, the, 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 the initial step was the thought, if you will. So when you observe something that you don't like, it's really no big deal. It's just to know that it's the product or the result, if, to, if you will, of past feeling and before that, as I've just said, past thinking. So this has taken quite a while. It didn't happen overnight, you know. Some things do happen overnight, but a lot of them don't. So if you know that when you observe something, it's not, it doesn't have to be here forever. It is the result of past feeling and past thinking. And the minute you observe it and you say, well, I don't like that creation. I don't want that creation. I choose something different then uh, so it is something different can take place but you've got to know first of all how you've created it it really helps things become effortless that way and you also have to know that it is only the result of something you've been thinking and feeling and just as well you can undo it if you choose in the minute that you observe it to do something different so i'll probably leave you with this for today i want to share with you that i have um co-created spontaneous remission in my own body, which is uh, just, I mean, fantastic. I had really bad news uh, from my doctor in the beginning of the year, actually, and it had been going on for quite some time. And uh, as a stage one cancer, I can tell you that I know exactly where it came from. I know that I was in a situation at some point where I felt so helpless, so afraid, so stressed that I, I would have been surprised if, uh, no illness would have showed up if you will but i really really appreciate how this all works and how i created it for myself and just as well it's just as easy to undo once you know how you function how your quantum anatomy anatomy sorry function so i really wanted to give you this uh, the so it works also for creative projects uh, like the book that i wrote for instance anti-aging secrets it was a commercial title basically uh, to put over a, a really good, I'm not just saying this with ego or whatever, but it's good self-awareness and health manual. It's like a gift to yourself. And in it are, you know, physical tips, spiritual tips, whatever tips you want really with uh, lifting the veil on a lot of lies that being that is being fed to us through the media about anything to do with the business of anti-aging. And although I wrote this myself in 2007, I got a small job, self-published in 2009. Uh, it did well here in Ireland, but uh, you know, Ireland is uh, limited in its size. Uh, I did get mana. I did uh, manage, sorry, to get published only a year later in the states. And again, that has been a result of knowing how to, uh, first of all, how we block ourselves by thinking that we are not able for this, or we are not good enough, or what we do isn't good enough and moving into the space of co-creation, knowing first of all everything is possible and having a method to get unstuck uh, when uh, I was obviously very stuck that I didn't manage to you know, do a lot of things for the first year or two with my book. I'm just back from China this year. I was in New York City doing a book signing with my publisher and I'll be going to Frankfurt in October and I really want to tell you that everything is possible and the method that I share is called the Mahayana methods this is the second step of it uh, maybe I'll go some more into the first step although it is about being aware so you may be familiar with this again if you're not we'll we'll go through it some some morning one day and uh, at some point the third step I will not want to explore uh, that too much uh, in such a format because it takes uh, being together, creating sacred space and really having enough attention to start working with a subconscious belief, which is a big piece of work. But I'll give you as much as I can through YouTube and uh, I aim at giving you everything that I can so you can help yourself. So you can stop getting into fear anytime anybody gives you a piece of bad news, anytime you hear bad news on TV, anytime you see something dramatic, you've got to know that you are God made. You are the co-creator of everything that happens in your life. And you're here to give yourself a hand, which gives us all a hand. And it's in that spirit that I like to share and give you things. So I wish you a really good day and may you have peace. May your family have peace, prosperity and health. I love you.
Goodbye.